mistakes were made. <clears throat> yeah, my bad. Any drink that symbolizes the United States uh, is going to get an upgraded score from me. It looks like bug juice. You ever, you, as a kid, did you, have a, did you ever have bug juice? You're in England. You see an old historic clock. It's just ticking, ticking, ticking. And you're here drinking this drink. Welcome back to Snapshot. This is the World Cup. And one of the favorites of Group B is, of course, England. And for England, we have one of the most classic English cocktails of all time. This is the Bramble. We're going to start off with two ounces of Beef Eater London Dry Gin. We've got one ounce of lemon juice. And we've got two teaspoons of simple syrup. Shaking the stuff. Then we're going to take half an ounce of ideally creme de mort, but you could also do creme de cassis or chambord uh, if that's easier for you to find. Half an ounce, and we're going to just layer that right on top. We'll garnish this with a lemon wheel and a skewer of blackberries. Ooh. First pre-chaser smell. Ooh, it smells very citrusy, sour. I need another one of those drinks before I can make a clear conclusions. <laughs> I need a cigarette and I need to hold it like they do in Peaky Blunders. I'll tell you this. <clears throat> it kind of, is there a Sprite in this? I, I surprisingly like this. There's something weird about it though. This is something to be sipped on while you are courting a beautiful English woman. Interesting. All right. Well, this drink is surprisingly tart. Once you sip, you're kind of, you're almost wincing because that's how tart it is. Um, but as it goes down, it's relatively smooth, rel relatively tasty. Again, it's not one that I think you get multiple of. This is a, a great starter drink, maybe one to have as a, like if you're pre-gaming before dinner um, or something of the sort. When I reach the bottom, I believe it's the, uh, the creme de cassis is almost the part that messes it up. The actual body of it is very tasty. I think once you get to the bottom of it, where the cassis falls down to actually makes it even more tart which is almost has like a harsh finish in your mouth let me ask you a question though how do you feel right now though i feel good it's refreshing the the real tart flavor is what what kind of sets it different from most drinks i kind of enjoyed that tart plus sweetness from the berry it, it's a different type of feeling this is a one and done drink for me this is like i have one of these and i after that i move on i liked it it wasn't my favorite like i said it's not one you drink it doesn't have a longevity to it so i'm gonna give it a Five, nine. God, I feel good right now. Dude, don't you feel good though? I feel, it was refreshing, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm in England though. There's a part of, there's a part of me that feels as if at an old historic type bar, you're sitting there with a beautiful woman in front of you. You, you both get one of these drinks. You're sipping this on a Friday or Saturday night. You're there for one or two nights. You're in England. You see an old historic clock. It's just ticking, ticking, ticking and you're here drinking this drink. I feel like I could do anything that I wanted to, but I can't give it above an eight, but I can't give it a below a six. 7.4. I think there is a there is a, a, an elegance to this drink and also a, uh, a refreshingness to this drink. I tend to agree with Dick Shot's ranking on this one. Uh, so that's gonna be one point for him for group. Because we made this drink once before. It didn't go well. What? There was a drafting error, okay? Mistakes were made. Hold on here. Country is this? What's about that trick pool type? What do you call this drink? What are you doing? Come right in. Hey, cover those doors. Turn those lights back on. What's in the bowl, dude? <laughs> what's in the bowl? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what is it? Hey, on the floor, my right? hey, thing. Hey, what is this? Hey, 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 cause for alarm, gentlemen. <sighs> yeah, my bad. We took three quarters of a cup of water, two cups of sugar. We boiled that until the sugar fully dissolved in that water. We then added one third cup of vinegar and then boiled that whole mixture for five minutes. We then removed it from the heat and then added an entire bouquet of mint. We then let that syrup cool. We took out the mint, of course, and that left us with this syrup right here. We've got three quarters ounce of this syrup. Right in each mason jar. Two ounces of vodka. 
Drop a little bit of cucumber in there. Wow, that's a little I guess right that right. A little bit of mint in each one. Then fill the glass with some water. Go ahead, we'll put the top on the mason jar. Shake her up. Garnish it with a nice old mint sprig. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. We made a drink like this one time, but I didn't like it. Do you like it? I like it. It's kind of fruity, so. It's hydrating. It's, got it's refreshing, here. right? Is it hydrate alcohol in this? Two ounces of vodka. <laughs> there is a thing. That could taste a little bit. I don't like that. It's 2.7 for me. That's my lowest. Why? Why do you give it 2.7? I don't like the way it tastes. <laughs> to be more specific. <laughs> I don't like, I feel like every time, I don't, I feel like if you strained it, I could drink this entire thing. Rabbit food to put in my drink. I'll, I'll taste this and I'll taste Look at these like little pieces of stuff. Uh, you can deal with it. Just hammer, dude. Come on. Down on one. Hammer time. There's vodka. Oh, I'll spit on my shirt. We got a drink, bro. All right. What do you give it? What some still I liked it. I'm not really sure if it had alcohol in it or not, which is always gonna be a plus for me because if you like the taste of liquor and you're just lying to yourself. It's really just <laughs> The whole reason for mixed drinks and cocktails is that you try to disguise the taste of the liquor. We all know that. It was a confusing drink. You know, I, I didn't know what to think of it, but it, taste, it tasted fine. It was easy to slam. 5-1. So as you know, I don't get to give my own rating. I just get to say whether my score is, or I guess which score my score is closer to. And for me, it would be Furbalicious for this one. I don't love this drink, but it is certainly very refreshing. You can't taste the vodka come through. It is really quite a refreshing drink. So I agree with Jordan. It's not the most delicious drink, but definitely tolerable and really quite refreshing. The cucumber definitely comes through. And for the U.S. of A, we have a classic American cocktail. This is one that was allegedly named after a World War II. This right here is, of course, the Brass Monkey. The Brass Monkey. The Funky Monkey. The Brass Monkey has two and a half ounces of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of vodka. We're going to use Tito's and American vodka for our American cocktail. USA! One ounce of light rum. We'll garnish each of these drinks with, of course, a lemon slice. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have an American classic, the Brass Monkey. Cheers to you and cheers, of course, to Team USA during the 2022 World Cup. Cheers to America. Why would you do this for an American drink? Because this tastes terrible. If you like eating raw lemons <laughs> and just squirting lemons into your mouth, I recommend this. I'm sorry, this is so lemony, I feel like I'm dehydrating. Legitimately, I give this a 5.3. And I love America, bro, I love America. Furbalicious Frontier, this is your host, Furbalicious. I don't know about y'all. I can see myself drinking multiple of these. It's uh, definitely your standard sour vodka drink. Um, it's one of those drinks that's definitely refreshing. It's definitely uh, meant to be drank earlier in the night or during the day. But overall, I'm going to give this a 9.3. Whoa! <laughs> the question is whether I'm above or below a 7.3. I love lemon drinks. I think this drink, this drinks a lot to me like a lemonade, but it's like a tart lemonade with some, some alcohol, right? Uh, I find it delicious. I'm not at a 9.3, but I am above a 7.3. So Furbalicious gets the point. USA! USA! Y'all, rounding out Group B of the Snapshot World Cup is Wales. And for Wales, we have the Welsh Dragon. Now, as you'll see, the Welsh Dragon has a number of green liqueurs, and it's, we're going to garnish it with uh, a skewer of maraschino cherries. Now, I think where the name of this drink comes from is it's really supposed to be uh, emblematic of the Welsh flag, the flag of Wales, a red dragon on a green and white background, and that's how we get this drink right here. We've got three ounces of pineapple juice and three ounces of orange juice. Two ounces of peach schnapps. Two ounces of Midori melon liqueur. Now we'll top each one of these with one ounce of green creme de menthe. Whoa. 
We'll garnish it, of course, with the skewer of cherries for the red dragon and the Welsh flag. Lime green texture. I like, it looks like bug juice. You, you, as a kid, did you have a? Did you ever have bug juice? No. What is bug juice? A lime green. Snap. You ever have bug juice? Lime green juice called bug juice. Everybody who buy it at the grocery store is bug juice. Kind of like orange juice, but bug juice. It's just like a green version of orange juice. <laughs> it ain't bad, though. It ain't bad. To the Furbalist Frontier, I have an obligation to you. We have the cherry. Uh, let us know in the comments if you are a type of person who eats the garnishment first or after the drink or perhaps during, um, but my obligation to you is that I do this down in one. Whoa. <laughs> that creeps up on you. This drink creeps up on you. This is way too sweet. You're not gonna like what I say, Jordan. For my viewers, it's too sweet for me. Gives me a bug juice feeling. I can taste the alcohol, it's way too sweet. I give this a 6.7. 6.7 because it tastes like syrup. I don't like the syrup, I, I don't mind sweet, I don't like syrup. The, the the battle against the Welsh Dragon was a tough one. Definitely wasn't a down in one. It was a down in two. We prevailed. The creme de mint wasn't a great addition. I think I would have liked it without the minty flavor to it. There was enough flavor to it already. Definitely a zing in terms of a, it, it had that almost like tropical feel to it as well as the alcoholic feel to it. But the creme de mint kind of added this taste that I wasn't about. It added almost this like toothpastey tape. If it was my decision, I would have made the exact same thing. Would have left out the uh, green creme de mint and just had it with the, uh, the cherries and the drink itself. I was a huge fan. I'm going to give it a uh, 7.5. So I completely agree with that analysis. I would probably be around the 8th, if not for the creme de mint. Because of the creme de mint, because I have to consider this drink exactly as it was presented, which includes the creme de mint, I'm closer to the 6.7. Dickie gets my, uh, gets my point for this one. Ch -ch 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 ching And like and subscribe. And y'all, if you're going to enjoy the Welsh Dragon, please just do so responsibly. Uh, go ahead and check out what happened the last time we made this drink. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it just fell all over my belt. This is gross. Is this onion? This Wait, is I'm not done. I'm sorry. I'm trying to eat it. I have a friend. Don't drink this. You know what? Goddamn. You're not going to do this? Let's chug this shit. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I haven't even tasted it yet. No. Taste it once. I think my flower died. Look at this goddamn picture that I have. Look at that picture. Wait, 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 come here. Furbalicious Frontier, do we back down from a challenge? No, we do not. Down in one. That's the worst. <laughs> the look. For Bush for two, you cannot fault me for this. There's too many bits of cucumbers in here. <laughs> this drink kind of sucks. Frontier, you deserve this. 